Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a really simple hair growth oil recipe that you can add to your regimen to prevent hair thinning, to help you thicken your hair and to prevent hair loss. So if you are interested, you definitely want to keep on watching and I suggest you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all the, of the steps and also instructions on how to use it. Now let's hop right into the video. So the first ingredient we're going to need will be some pumpkin um, seeds so this is what they look like because you're not familiar with this I went ahead and I blended mine and this is what it looks like after it's been blended so if you've got pumpkin powder it will be absolutely fine but if you have the whole pumpkins you want to go ahead and blend it because we need it in a powdery form now pump pumpkin seeds are packed with amino acids which helps to improve the quality of your hair it has antibacterial properties it helps to promote hair growth prevents thinning of hair and essentially helps also to darken the hair and make it nice and shiny so i use one tablespoon of pumpkin seeds powder and the next ingredient guys would be some moringa powder now moringa is a powerhouse of nutrients for our hair it's so full of antioxidants that helps to promote hair growth and also helps to moisturize the hair and it's super amazing for the health of your scalp which is super important when it comes to growing healthy hair and preventing hair loss or thinning so it's super important so i use one tablespoon of that as well what i did there was some olive oil but feel free to use any other oil of your choice um it could be you know avocado oil coconut oil or any other oil that you have available now we're going to go in with two tea bags of green tea. Green tea inhibits the activity of DHT hormone, which is essentially a hormone that has been um, linked with hair loss. So it helps to inhibit the activity of that and helps to prevent hair loss and also helps to promote the growth of the hair by stimulating the hair follicles. So I added two tea bags, but again, add more if you want to, but this is just enough for the amount of the oil that I was using. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice stir and then we're gonna go on to do the double boiler method um, just so we can retain as much of the nutrients in this oil as possible. Now, if you're using, let's say, rapeseed oil, grapeseed oil or coconut oil, you can actually directly heat this. So you can just pop it in your pan and just allow it to infuse for just a few minutes and then you're good to go. But because I was using olive oil, I didn't really want to kill or oxidize some of the nutrients. So that's why I'm doing the double boiler method. So you want to allow this to simmer away for about 5 to 10 minutes and then you're good to go. So take that off the stove and this is essentially what it looks like after it has been infusing for a little bit. So to improve this process, I'm going to put this in a little jar, so this mason jar here. And then I'm going to close it and allow it to infuse overnight. Now you can actually allow this to infuse for longer than that if you want to. So you can leave it for up to a week before you go ahead and um, and strain. Um, so, but I just left it overnight for the purpose of today's video. Um, but again, like I said, leave it for longer. So you just want to pop your lid on there, make it really airtight, and just allow it to just sit somewhere. <laughs> Now the next day, this is what it looks like guys. So notice that it has separated a little bit. So we've got some of the oil on top and then a more concentrated oil at the bottom. So you just wanna go ahead and make sure that you stir that in nicely so that it is properly and well combined before you go ahead and strain. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what the bottom of the jar looked like. So that's what I was showing you there. That's why it's important that you stir just so you can get everything nicely combined. Now to strain, I will be using a wig cap for this, but feel free to use any other thing you may have available. It could be a coffee filter or perhaps a tea towel so anything you have available that can do the job will be absolutely fine so just pour that on there and just just strain yeah 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 on me yeah no escaping from my mind but low key you know now you can see the oil coming away really nicely 
Unfortunately, I recorded how I put this in my Placuta bottle, but I accidentally deleted the footage on my camera. Um, so I haven't really been able to show you guys what the oil actually looked like, but it's really nice and a thick consistency, just like you saw there. So what I did, I put it in my Placuta bottle so that it's easier for me to apply to my hair, just like you're going to see in this part of the video. I apologize for accidentally deleting the footage off my camera because I was trying to create more space to create more content and I didn't realize that I was actually deleting the content that I actually needed for today's video so <laughs> I'm really sorry about that guys but that's pretty much it once you strain it it is pretty much done so just pop it in whatever you want to store it in and this oil can store in your house in a cool dry place for months without anything sort of happening to it so in this part of the video I'm just showing you guys how I'm applying it to my hair somebody actually left me a comment uh, recently asking to see the back of my hair because she was just wondering why I wasn't really um, showing the back of my hair um, in my videos and to be completely honest guys it was basically just because it's easier to record me demonstrating using the product at the front of my hair uh, because I get to see myself in the camera, it's easier because I can see what I'm doing. Um, so that's why. But I just thought I'll show you guys what the back of my hair looks like. And her, her comment was definitely um, valid. So anyways, I'm just going ahead here and applying this to my scalp just so you can see. So you want to make sure that you apply to your edges. Especially those of you suffering from thin edges. You definitely want to apply to those areas. Postnatal shedding hasn't quite um, kicked in yet, so I'm hoping that it's not as bad <laughs> as what I had last time. But at the moment, I still got my edges, and I'm super enjoying them. Um, obviously, I know when this postnatal shedding starts, it might essentially get <laughs> rid of all my edges. But anyways, you want to apply them uh, the oil on your edges, your scalp, basically like everywhere around your hair. Definitely focus on areas where you're experiencing hair loss or thinning if you don't want to, you know, oil your whole scalp. Um, but that's what I'm doing in today's video essentially. So I'm just going to work that through my entire scalp. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it a really, really good massage. Now, some of you guys always wonder, like, how do I use oils for hair growth? It's pretty simple. You can use them in so many ways. So it could be perhaps just like I'm doing here as a hair growth oil, massage that, that to your scalp and then let it sit on there until wash day. Or you can use it as a pimple treatment, which I do quite often when I wash my hair. So you just want to saturate the hair with the oil essentially before you go ahead and shampoo. And that just helps to stimulate hair growth and also uh, minimize breakage from dryness that the shampoo is going to give you. So pre pouring is such an important part of my wash day routine. And most of the time I always use oils because... I always have oil sitting around in the house anyways and it's just super easy to just grab and use um, but those are the ways that you can use these oils guys or you can add it to another DIY so if you're making like a deep conditioning treatment or perhaps you know um, a moisturizing spray or leave-in conditioner you can definitely add this to it or just like I say you can use it as a high of oil by just gently applying to the area that needs help and make sure that you follow with a massage just because of the fact that it helps to improve the blood flow which in turn helps to stimulate high growth uh, in that area now bear in mind that you also need to be consistent to be able to see results and also Think about what you're eating. Are you exercising? Are you having a good diet? Are you having good water intake? Because these things do matter as well when it comes to growing healthy, strong, natural hair. So look at all those details as well. I'm pretty sure you will see results. So that brings me to the end of today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the video. And if you did guys, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it because it helps my videos out, especially if you enjoy watching. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Leave me a comment. I'll read them all. I'll try my best to answer them and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.